Hello everybody and welcome to yet another exciting session of building information modeling brought to you by Katsum Technologies. In today's uh, broadcast we are going to discuss about one of the most interesting topic in building information modeling that is class detection. The class detection is basically the uh, tool by which we detect clashes between uh, different elements like the structural element beam and a mechanical element pipe or we can basically define clashes between beam and beam and beam and between beam and other pipe sections multiple pipe sections in a BIM model here we have taken Revit 2014 as a platform uh, the models and the Naviswork as the detection tool we have a Revit model in the Naviswork 2014 uh, here we can see there is a, a plant model over here and now in this tutorial we are going to apply the clash detection tools to uh, view the clash between beams and the pipes in the model. So let's start and uh, uh, very important about the clash detection uh, methodology before uh, starting a clash detection methodology there's some uh, basic things that we should learn about is to how to create selection sets. Selection sets are basically sets of elements that are uh, regularly used uh, by using uh, different uh, you know, names, where you can call it by names or whatever it is. So in order to s uh, create a selection set, there is a tool uh, the called the selection tree tool that a window will display. So to find out the selection tree tool, we go to the home tab over here and see in the home tab there is a select and search panel. And here, the selection tree tool, uh, the selection tree window opens over here. You can see the selection tree is what? The selection tree is the uh, where you have the name of the file and there are different different headings over here for the basement there are different selections for the ground there's a different selection so now we are interested to uh, select uh, you know a duct for that we uh, for the ground floor so to select ducts for the ground floor we need to you know go for the ground floor plan uh, uh, we select it and here we go to the duct node and here we need to select the round duct. Now you can find that the round duct, there are different types of the round duct, but you are interested. Now here's the round ducts are highlighted in blue. Uh, <coughs> the next is, after selecting the, uh, you know, the ducts, uh, we have to uh, choose the manage sets tool. Why do we do that? Uh, let you know. The manage sets tool is uh, situated here in the select and search panel. <coughs> so, we uh, it would be somewhat like the sets drop down and the manage set tool here. Okay, so in this uh, sets <coughs> uh, window, you can see the selection set written over here. In the selection set, it's created. So we delete this. Next is enter the n uh, in this uh, uh, in the choose the save selection button. So to choose the save selection button, we have a different name with the selection set. And now <coughs> we enter the name ducts. <coughs> Sorry. In the selection set and press enter. Next, select the structural framing sub node in the no level node uh, of the selection tree window. Right. So yeah, here we are selecting. So now the structural framing members are selected. Now, okay. Now you have to name it uh, with the name beam. Again, choose the selection set tool, and then say I name it as <coughs> beams. Next is how to add the test and selecting and selecting test items. For that, in this section, in this, uh, uh, you are going to add a test in the class detective window and then select the test items you using used for class testing. So you need to choose the class detective tool from the tools panel in the home tab. So you can see I have chosen the class detective tool. Uh, now choose the add test button. <coughs> There's a dialog box that is open. <coughs> Sorry. Add test button. Name test one is added. Next, rename the test one as ducts versus beams. So, D U C T S versus beams. <coughs> Press enter. 
choose the select tab in the class detective window. Uh, it's chosen already. Okay. In the select tab, select the sets option from the drop down list available at the top in the selection A area and then in the selection B area choose the beams. Now okay, uh, the ducts in the selection A area and the beams in the selection B, B area. Now what we have done is we have in the selection A we are going to select the ducts and selection B the beams so we have to define the clashes between selection A and selection B. Now, next would be to specify the rules for the class detection. So how do we do that? So choose the rules tab here in this class detective window and uh, ensure that the items in the same layer checkbox is selected from the predefined rules displayed in the window. So this is how we uh, go along and then we need to perform the class test. So to perform the class test, choose the select tab and ensure that the hard option is selected in the type dropdown in the settings area. Why? Uh, if you see, uh, for the settings there would be hard clearance duplicates but we have basically chosen the hard option in order to go for a hard test. So we need to run the test. So now see, on running the test, the clashes are displayed in the screen. Now you can visualize the clashes. Uh, to review the clashes over here, in the results tab, ensure that the item 1 and item 2 buttons are chosen in the highlighted area. That's fine. Okay. Next, ensure that the dim other button is chosen in the isolation area of the display, display settings panel. Uh, you can see display settings panel, the dim other button is chosen. So what we're going to do is, the next, uh, what I will do is, we'll select the transparent di uh, dimming and, okay. Okay, <coughs> the next part, uh, next select the transparent dimming checkbox and the auto reveal checkbox in the isolation area. So I have selected. Ensure that the auto update option is selected in the uh, viewpoint drop down list. Select the animation transition checkbox in the viewpoint area. So these are the basic settings that you need to ensure while you are running the clash detection test. The next is select the clash one results. In the result tab, the corresponding clashed items are displayed. You can see how the clash items are displayed in the screen. Yeah, I'm just going to dock it down. Okay. Now this is basically the first clash. Then you have the second clash. Uh, there would be other clashes also. So I'll, I'll keep on highlighting the clashes that have been detected from the test. So that's a very interesting in Navis work. You see, you roll down and see the different clashes over here. And the next, what you need to do is you can. Uh, save the class views. So, so if you want to save the class views, um, go to the, uh, you know, the review uh, tab over here. So what I will do is, I'm going to choose the cloud tool from here. So I need to review this. So I choose the cloud tool and I put a revision over here. I draw cloud and put a revision. So I am at a class six. I can review it. I can write, okay, for review, I can to write the text. I have to choose the text tool and then I, as a coordination manager, what I can do is I can write a text. Let's suppose I write a text over here, clashes detected for beams and pipe. Okay, <coughs> so this would be conveyed to the other people who would be uh, using this particular model as a report. So how we can create class report would be this another subject, uh, to another topic would be choose a report tab in the class detective window here. So in the report tab, you have this interesting uh, the contents and, inc uh, and include the status area of the window, select the check boxes as shown. Okay, so in this contents and include the status area, uh, okay, you know, these are the check boxes that are needed to be 
selected. This is the basic setting that we can review this, and then we can go for the rice report option. Uh, okay, you can you can also t ch always better to go for the report type, but that's fine. Uh, now these are the report format drop down list. You can have an HTML format. Now to create the report, choose the report tab in the class detective window with the contents and include the status area of the window. You can see there are several checkboxes that are selected. Now these checkboxes are default settings in this. In the output settings area, you can see over here, uh, you can select one of the report type. One of them will be all test combined or I will like to get with the current test and the format that I will choose is the report format in the HTML. Uh, so I'll write the report and then after writing the report I would be saving them as one of the HTML file I say depth versus V save the file it's already exist so uh, I have been able to create the class detection reports in uh, lattice work I need to view how the report would be and uh, to view the report I need to go to the folder over here and uh, it's in the desktop. In the desktop, I go to the uh, actual folder that I have created. It is the HTML file. It will open. So this is the class report that is visible in the. You know, I can see the element ID and the HTML format. It's interesting and a tool in uh, Navis work. Thank you for being with us. Hope you have enjoyed this podcast and. Uh, We'll bring you more of the uh, tutorials in Navis work and building information modeling. Thank you for staying with us and watching us. Have a nice day.